Okay, how's it going guys? And welcome back to some more Pokemon, a far-fetched story. Let us uh, continue on. Oh look, it's Smith, the famous painter. Good afternoon, beautiful creatures. I am Sir Smithson, Smithson, Sm Smithison, Smithison, Sir Smithison Revington Joseph III. You can call me Smith. I paint portraits of other Pokemon free of charge. How exciting. Please paint Farley for me. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> no thanks. Don't forget the leak. Of course, of course. Please take a seat. Okay. Are you done yet? My neck is sore. Lovely. This has turned out quite well. This might be my magnum opus. <laughs> Please have a look. <laughs> it's great. I love it. Is this a joke? Wow, this is magnificent. You even got the facial expression right. <laughs> it's creative, I guess. At least it's free. Shelby, let's do one together. Sure. This one's gonna be amazing, isn't it? I can already tell, dude. <laughs> Ours is so bad, and this uh, this one's gonna be just look amazing, isn't it? Yes, yes, this is wonderful. I did the shading perfectly on this one. Nope, never mind. It's just as great. <laughs> I'm speechless. <laughs> I am too. Oh no. I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. What's this? What's that little thing under Rockruff supposed to be? That's supposed to be like one of his little rocks? Hmm. Thank you. You may take the paintings. Oh yeah, fantastic. A portrait of Rocky painted by Smith. Oh, all right. A portrait of Farley painted by Smith. Why am I holding these? A portrait of Shelby painted by Smith. Thank you so much. We'll definitely come back another day. Well, that happened. All right. <laughs> Let's uh, continue on. I think there's just an item up here, right? Yeah, I think so. It's getting dark. I think we should rest here for the night. All right. What a day. I think we deserve a good break. We still have a long way to go. I hope that we can find my Gracidia and stop the Weather Trio. I don't want to let down Greenleaf. Can you tell me more about the Weather Trio? Why are they mad? Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza live on the summit of Mount Alto. We give them offerings every week, but we stopped recently. That's why they're mad. Offerings? Why? They said that they control the weather of the Alto region, so we owe them. That's nonsense. Actually, is it? Like, <laughs> I mean, if they could just control the weather at will, it's not really nonsense. <laughs> I mean, it kinda does. <laughs> if, if Kyogre decided he never wanted it to rain ever again, I think that would cause a problem, right? <laughs> With the ecosystem and all. <laughs> I think that'd be that'd be pretty bad. The weather has nothing to do with Pokemon. There are no weather trio where I'm from. It's a natural force. We've been questioning that for many years. The weather trio have been around for centuries. Their past is a mystery. They're also very powerful and intimidating. No one dares to fight them. I can see that. <laughs> well, I think they're just lying so they get free food from you guys. Oh, that makes my blood boil. 
I want to get to the summit and crush them with my leak. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think Farley knows what a Groudon, Kyogre, or Rayquaza are. <laughs> yeah, it's sad, isn't it? But today was fun. I haven't gone on an adventure with friends in a long time. Well, I don't have many friends. Shelby's my only friend. A lot of Pokemon think I'm annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry about my attitude today. It's been a rough day. Sure, you can be a little annoying sometimes, but I know you only have good intentions. I do admire your optimism. Thank you, Farley. We'll definitely find your home soon. I promise. The next day. Of course it is. Is that the same Trubbish from earlier? Oh, it is. What are you doing here? Trying to steal that rock again? No, I... This is embarrassing, but... I need your help. Do you think you deserve our help after yesterday? N no, but... My dad. He's very, very sick. We need Chief Shelby's healing. Please. Is this the evil Pokemon that you were talking about, Rocky? Yes. He stole my rock. Hmm. Trubbish, you did something very hurtful. However, I cannot ignore anyone who needs my assistance. This may sound bad, but... I believe that I should help this Trubbish. What do you say, Rocky? I agree. Fine. But we will leave immediately once the job is done. Thank you so much. You can call me Trent, by the way. Trent the Trubbish. I always join the team, for now. Poison, stench, impish, young, male, got it. Likes eating trash. Not himself, that's weird. <laughs> okay. You can now switch to Trubbish. Fantastic. My house is in Mud Sunk Cave. It's not too far from here. That's fine. We're going through that cave anyway. So, you have any special abilities that can help us? I can cut trees, Shelby can heal, and Rocky can jump far. Um, I can eat your leftovers. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I think the Trubbish is my favorite Pokemon so far, dude. I don't know why. It's just so funny. Ah, uh, is a bad situation. Oh, wow, we missed. Um, probably go for knockoff or a brutal swing. Oh my god, a swallow. I got an error? Oh. Okay. Okay, we're back. Rocky wants to learn play rough. Well, that's amazing. Okay.
Drizzle Cave is a nice place to visit. It's a popular tourist area during the summer. Thanks for the info. Cool team you have there. Thank you. Wait, what a triple battle! Oh my god, wait, I was not expecting this. Uh oh dang, alright. Alright, um Knock off on the Sandigast. Probably play rough. No, we gotta go for this polywhirl. Oh man, dude. Rocky's gonna get destroyed here. Rocky is about to get obliterated. And he missed the play rough. Fantastic. Wow, he just took out his two teammates. Wow. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that is so unfortunate for him. Literally just took out both his teammates with that. That's actually kind of hilarious. Want to learn synthesis? Uh, yes. Wait, we're actually fine, I think. I guess I was worried about nothing. <laughs> oh, man. Here, let's, uh... Oh, what? I have no charges left. Dang it. I didn't heal up the tent. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Let's use a super potion on Rocky. I feel like I gotta save often. Just because the game kind of randomly crashes at. Oh my god, that's Earth Power. Nice. Got random crashes while playing this game so far, so I should probably just try to save after every battle. Rocky, are you okay? I don't know how to feel about this. Trent stole my rock and bullied me. I get why you're helping him, but... I know. I understand. Don't worry. If anything bad happens, I'll be there to protect you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the sand is like a golden blanket. Corsola, Cedra, and Cherubi. Okay, um... Whoa, Farley. You can break rocks, too? Of course. I, sl I slice through it like butter. <laughs> oh, whose footprints are these? Hmm. Well, 
Let me make sure we're fully healed and ready for a battle. Oh, it's a Cramoran. Hello? Uh... Oh. Welcome to the Cramorant Game Show. The what? <laughs> I don't remember signing up for this. I know these guys. It's the Cramorants. You don't say. They love to play games with random travelers. We have to participate in their game show. <laughs> wow, sounds fun. We don't have time for games right now. Can you just let us go? Thank you for entering the Cramorant Game Show. There are three mini-games you must complete. They will test your agility, intelligence, and awareness. Good luck! Why is that one eating? <laughs> I don't want to play your stupid games. We have to. Ah, uh, Let's just get this over and done with. Dude. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's start with this one then. Mini game number one, synchronize. Hello. Welcome to the synchronize minigame. There are two levels. For each level, you will have to do a tile puzzle. Good luck. Okay. Not a huge fan of tile puzzles, but uh I guess we'll try it. Level 1. Here's the first tile puzzle. Oh, it's a Cramorant. Oh, well, that's not good. I don't know what the heck a Cramorant looks like normally. Oh, jeez. Hold on. Let me get a picture of Cramorant real quick. Okay. Okay, so do these, uh... I did not mean to... I did not mean to back out. I wanted to see if I, if I, if I just gotta place him in the right spot, or if I gotta, like, twist and turn him. I think I, I think you just place him in the right spot. Um... I don't think that's correct. Oh, wait, there's two of them! There's two Cramorants. Oh, wait, I think... Oh, I think that's what it means by synchronize. Wait, are there? Or is... Because this... These are like two separate eyeballs. Oh, I have them backwards. No, no, it's... Nope, nope, it's... Never mind, it's not two separate eyeballs. <laughs> um... Dude, this looks so weird. What the heck? Let me just get the matching pieces right now. Dude. I think this is a corner piece. I think this is a corner piece. Um, the beak looks kind of correct. There we go. Um, oh, there's the other piece of the eyeball. Oh, this is so creepy, dude. He's staring me right in the face. Is that correct? Maybe. Hmm. Oh, this is the head. Is 
that not correct? Hmm. I think these corners are in the wrong. Yeah. There we go. Dude, that is so creepy. <laughs> All right, well, there we go. Good job. On to the next stage. I thought it was like two Cramorants, but like their side profiles next to each other. That's what I thought it was, but no, it was a Cramorant staring me dead in the eye. So that was terrifying. Level two. Here's the second and final tile puzzle. Hint, pay attention to the background colors. Okay, so it's a cramorant eating a fish. Got it. Let's start with the face. I don't know where the face would go. Mm. There's the bottom beak. Where does this piece go? What the heck? Hmm. What does a cramorant look like when it's eating a fish? Is this supposed to be like... No, wait, what? Hmm. get the top first these these pieces right here look like they're like the top layer no that doesn't look right why is this one different than these three hmm that is so weird dude i don't know this is way like that Wait, is it? No, it's not like that. This probably goes here, right? No. Hmm. Wait, is that it? Wait, I think I got it. What is he eating? Oh, it's Pikachu, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I think that's Pikachu. Is this all correct though? It looks looks kind of good. Okay, uh, let's work on the body a bit. Um, this is the neck. No, that doesn't look right. Mm. That? No. There, wait, that looks right, I think. Yes, maybe. I got it! Let's go! Congratulations, you have completed the minigame. Awesome. Okay. Let's go over here now. Minigame number three. Oh, wait. Let's go to number two first. Keen Eyes. Welcome to the Keen Eyes minigame. 
There are three levels. For each level, you will enter a special room. Try and analyze every single detail of that room. Once the timer is up, I will ask you three questions. For example, how many Pokemon are in the room? If you get it wrong, I'll steal 20 gold from you. Okay, good luck. Oh, God. All right, let's see. Level one. Do you have keen eyes? You have 20 seconds. Begin. Okay, uh... Three pieces of wood, two, three, four, five rocks, a starfish, two different bodies of water. I think that's all I need to remember. Five, three, let's go. Okay. Level two. Okay. Five pieces of, what is what is this, seaweed? Five pieces of seaweed. Three cramorant. One that's shiny. I'm assuming that's shiny. And then two that are normal. Um. Oh, they have names. Julie likes burgers. Fred likes orenberries. Hey, it's Mark. That's my name. <laughs> Uh, Mark likes pizza. Okay. Mark likes pizza. Fred likes orange berries. And Julie likes burgers. Mark is shiny. Fred. Okay. Fred, Julie. Okay. Oh, uh, left. Oh, my God. Fred likes orange berries. Okay, let's go. Level three. One minute. Begin. Oh my god. I'm going bankrupt. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, dude. Okay. Uh, oh no. I'm gonna go bankrupt, dude. Okay. Two starfish. One red. One green. Two pieces of seaweed. Oh god. One starfish. One, two, three, four, five, six blades of grass. One, two, three, four footprints. Six. Oh, those, they have numbers? Oh my god. Six, nine, three, two, six, eight, one, nine, four, one. Oh my god. I'm just gonna have to guess, dude. This is too much. <laughs> I can't remember this. I'll remember some pieces, but on the other some other pieces I'm gonna have to guess. Two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, one, three, two, three, one, 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 two, I didn't, get, I didn't get to count the rocks. I was counting other stuff first. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. We did it. We did it. We only got two wrong in the end. It's fine. All right. All right. We didn't lose as much as I thought we were going to lose. <laughs> uh, let's go to the last one over here, which is mini game number three, Quick Feet. Welcome to the Quick Feet minigame. You have one minute to complete a maze. If the timer runs out, you lose 50 gold, and you have to restart. Oh, God. All right, here we go. A dead end, I think. No, dang it, there's a rock right there. No, wait. No, that might not be a dead end. Wait, that might not be a dead end. 
Wait a minute. This might be the way. I don't have enough time. Oh, I just didn't have enough time, dude. Is it possible to finish that first try? Because I just didn't... I mean, I walked everywhere because I couldn't put my fingers on all the keys. Like, the key to jump. Okay, now let's run. I want to just see if this is the right way that I got the first... That I got on the first try. Or if this is the wrong way to go. Was, was I on, was I on the right path? I was, dude. I was on the right path. I just didn't have enough time to finish it. That sucks. If I had like 20, 15 more seconds, I could have finished that. If I was running the entire time, I probably could have finished that, but oh well. Congratulations, you beat the timer. You have quick feet. All right, well, there we go. I did it. Congratulations. You've completed all of the minigames. Thank you for participating. We hope you had fun. Thanks. Do we at least get a prize? Your prize is the exit. Ah, oh, nice. Please come again. Okay. Where are we? This is Mud Sunk Cave. We're almost at my house. My home is just up there. Okay, I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I'm, just, I'm guessing that's the exit then. Here we are. Thank you for coming, I really appreciate it. It's all right. Now, where's your dad? Oh no, it was a trap. <laughs> Trent? Dad, they're here. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> What's going on? Trent? Your dad doesn't look sick at all. I can't believe how easy it was to fool you all. Well done, my boy. <laughs> I knew I could count on you. Trent, please tell me this is a joke. Oh, little Rocky. The only joke here is you. I told you I'd get you, but I didn't think it would be this easy. I just had a little, I just had to lie a little and act innocent. You're way too gullible. Oh no. Rocky's never going to trust anyone ever again. <laughs> what do you want from us? Two options. Give us everything you have or die. Oh God. Remember what happened in Greenleaf Waters? It's different this time, Farley. His dad. There's no way we can beat him. Of course I can. What do you mean? Look at him. <laughs> Rocky, it's our only way. I am so upset. Dude, is Rocky going to evolve? I feel like somebody is going to evolve. Obviously not the Shaman, but I feel like Rocky might evolve here soon. Okay, Trent, pick on someone your own size. Oh man, here we go, dude. I think it would make sense story-wise, like in a tough situation if, you know, one of the Pokemon, because they're not going to evolve through normal level up, so I feel like they're probably doing that like they're going to evolve through uh, story. Let's get rid of the two small ones and then we'll triple team the, uh, we'll triple team the Garbodor.
I'm gonna leech seed it actually. It used protect. Okay, that's fine. Good hit. Okay. Now we start knocking off the garb. Actually, I'm gonna start leering the garbador. And then we'll uh, double team the phantom. Actually, no. You evaded the attack. Are you are you serious? Are you serious? I can't believe it. There we go. Oh, goodbye, Rocky. How do I... How do I switch spots in a triple battle? Is that possible? Because Rocky's about to go down here. And then it's going to be very tough to take out that Phantom. Hmm. Hmm. Good finish. All right, now it's just the Phantom. Steel Wing. Yes, please. Um, let's get rid of Fury Cutter. Sweet Kiss. Uh, that could actually help us in the situation. So let's get rid of Synthesis. So again, I can't. I literally. I don't know how I switch spots, though. That's the thing. Oh, well. I missed. Lovely. Maybe I should just start growthing and then go for uh, Magical Leaps, because this is not going to... I literally can't reach. That's unfortunate. Plus three. Oh, that's that's enough. Let's go. All right, we did it. Yikes! Not again, Trent. We've beat you twice now. Don't underestimate us. I. We'll just have to fight harder next time. No, you just have to grow up and stop picking on others. If you need food or anything, just ask nicely. Absolutely. There's no need to threaten others. Trent. Yes, Dad? They're strong. <laughs> Pick on someone weaker next time. <laughs> yes, Dad. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. There's no use. Let's just go. <laughs> oh my god. I don't feel so good. Rocky, you showed great courage just then. You fought well. I know, but... I know you feel betrayed. I do too. But there will always be Pokemon who enjoy hurting others. 
As a village chief, it's my duty to protect us from Pokemon like them. We'll just have to move on. I'm proud of you, Rocky. Remember that. Thanks, Shelby. I'm glad you're my friend. It'll be hard to move on, but I'll try my best. Let's keep going. Can I go back in there? Episode two of three. Okay. Oh, did not. Okay, well, we stepped on it. I was going to save before that. Oh, it's a break sin. I hate everybody. Okay. <laughs> Finally, someone I can relate to. <laughs> oh my god. Everyone is stupid. <laughs> Are you all right there? Don't talk to me. I'm having a bad day. I'm also having a bad day. What is troubling you? Is it the weather trio? Yes. Now please leave me alone. I need to let out my anger before I go to Mount Alto and set them on fire. Oh man. Oh, perfect. We're also on our way to Mount Alto. You should join our team. Oh, that reminds me. We don't have a team name. What's a team without a team name? You're very loud and annoying. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Hold on. Are you the daughter of Chief Zephyr? Yes. What about it? I'm Chief Shelby. You probably can't tell because I don't have my Gracidia. What? You're Chief Shelby? Oh my, I'm so sorry. How did I not recognize you? You've done so much for our village. I deeply apologize. No worries. We're going to the summit to deal with this weather situation. How are the village Pokemon? The village snow is melting. We're located too close to the summit. Groudon's sunlight is too harsh. Kyogre's rain is too much. We're having a hard time up there. That's why I'm mad. The Weather Trio are a bunch of losers. <laughs> I'm going to defeat them. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, like Rocky said, you should join us. We need as much help as possible. Sure. It would be an honor to work with you, Chief Shelby. Please, call me Shelby. Okay, new team member. My name is Bree. Nice to meet you. Sorry about my attitude earlier on. I have a pretty short temper, but don't, under don't underestimate me. I'm a really strong Pokemon. <laughs> I feel like we're quite similar. I look forward battling. I look forward to battling alongside you. We're making a lot of new friends this week. <laughs> is this Rockruff always like this? I don't think I can listen to his voice all day long. Jesus. <laughs> You'll get used to it. So, any team name suggestions? <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, new team member. Bree the Brakeson. Fire, blaze, bold, teen, female. Don't get on her bad side. She'll set you on fire. Okay, cool. You can now switch to Bree. Bree can light up fireplaces. Okay. What can that do, though? Can that heal us, or... I don't know. Anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and uh, end this episode off here, and we will continue on next time. So, thanks for watching. Peace out.